Welcome my friends. My name is Baruch Glorio and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, people call me Bruce, so you're more than welcome to refer me as Bruce. Today we're going to talk about the top five Tivo Tarantula upgrades. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say that the Tivo Tarantula is a great printer. Um, it's very affordable, accessible. I'm going to show you here close up so you can see the printer. The printer comes in various forms. Uh, they come as a kit, and uh, people, some people, they already build them and sell them built. What I'm trying to do is to show you guys the top five best upgrades that I can share with you guys and give you a good pointer what the, what this printer can do with, after those upgrades. Number one, I'm going to show you the upgrade right here, the X carriage. The X carriage, you know, it's been overlooked for a while already. It's, it seems to be pretty simple. It's basically, it holds, you know, the bearings. And it's for the carriage to go left and right, you know. But also, another big problem that the table has is that it has the, all the cables to worry about. See that? Well, I figured it out a way how to print the X carriage only in one piece. And let me show you here. Only in one piece. See that? Thank you very much, my assistant. See that? And basically, it's going to attach the cable chain right on the X carriage, allowing you to just simply mount it, like shows right on here, in the close-up. And after it gets mounted on the close-up, I believe it's in this position, you see that? Right there. Then you're going to be able to run your wires through all the way to the back. This, I thought it was a great idea. I did not only print it, you know, this piece, the same as the original one, I made it thicker, thick enough just to be able to hold, you know, the nuts and the watches and everything. But then I found another problem, the concentric nuts. Usually when you put the concentric nuts on the original X carriage and on the printed one, you always run into the problem that the nuts themselves, when you tighten them, it, it goes almost through the hole. So when I designed this piece or redesigned this piece, I make sure that the inner hole of the piece, and I'm going to show you in a close-up, right here, I don't know if you can see right there, right about there, that hole right there, it will be the same all the way around, but only in the top pieces, if you flip it this way, it's still going to hold the same diameter, so the concentric knob will go inside with no problem. See that? It's a small hole. Focus is a really little difficult in this camera. There's the other hole. But look, now you have a big hole right there. But when you flip it, look at this. It has a small hole. See it? Right there. There you go. Look at that. So what that does, as you can see in the, in the right over here in the back, that's where the concentric that goes. I don't need to have a washer if I don't want to. See that? So now the top is the same, the back is the same. The cable chain will attach right onto it perfectly. And then if you look all the way around, it goes all the way, all the way to the back, to the back, to the back, to the back. And then it goes and down, down, down into the main control unit or motherboard or CPU. See that? That was number one. Number two, one of the biggest problems you have with this printer is that control board. The, the control board is a small. It's not that bad. The biggest problem is though is the way it's mounted. From the manuals, in the book, it says that you have to mount it in the front, right on there, but flat, right onto the rail. That causes a little bit of a problem because whenever you add on the scooter, the sensor, or any other form of, of to identify the height, Basically, it hits sometimes, depending on the model that you're printing, it will hit the motherboard. So I say, you know what? I looked on the internet, and then the link is right on the description. Also, for the cable chain, for the X carriage, the link, you'll find it on the description as well. So you're going to be able to print this piece right here, as you can see, and I'm going to give it a close-up. You're going to be able to print that piece, so you can mount your motherboard right on the rail, sideways so you're going to have all this space right here look at this 
and your X carriage is not going to hit there when it gets all the way there to the end and it goes all the way to the bottom. See that? And that will be perfect. That will be number two. Number three, I thought about the printer, you know, having the sensor. And if you looked on the Thingiverse website, you are going to find this beautiful right here, Dr. Fan unit, right on there. And basically that Dr. Fan unit, what it does, is just mounts it using the existing fan in the back of the extruder. And then after that, it uses a 40 millimeter, right on there, 40 millimeter fan in the front. So far, that was a great idea. But in the side, when they designed this ductive fan unit, I'm going to pull it up a little bit this way so you can see. Ooh, right there. The original ductive fan uh, unit, it, it had only a support for the proximity sensor with only two holes. So basically, every single time you have to make an adjustment, you have to loosen up the two screws, move manually the sensor, and then tighten it back up again. It seemed like a pretty good idea. It was a simple concept. It kind of worked out for me many times. But as you start building them more and more and more and more, you start realizing that the process, you know, was a little bit, you know, overwhelming for me. So I decided to build a carriage. The carriage was basically just a little piece right there. See that? Right on there. And that little piece, it's exactly the same diameter and distance that it needs. So you'll be able to mount the sensor right on that piece. And after you get the sensor mounted on this piece right here, you're going to be able to go here, slide it into the carriage, like so. And you can insert a screw right on there. See that right there, that hole? Oh, perfect. So you're going to be able to insert a screw right in there. And through the hole in the top, you're going to be able to adjust the height of that sensor. What's really neat about it is that, you know, you could do it really by microns, a thread at a time. It uses a 3 millimeter screws, and you're going to be able to adjust that back and forth with no problem. And on the go. So you don't have to be loosening it, moving it, tightening it, loosening it, moving it, tightening it. It's going to be just half a turn, didn't work. Half a turn, didn't work. Half a turn until you get it perfectly. This will ensure you a quicker setup. It will ensure you that your, you know, your system is perfect, and it will give you perfect prints every single time. Of course, once you set it up, you don't have to touch it again unless you mess with the bed. That will be tip number three. Number four, very simple. People lack of, you know, of problems. You know, they don't think it's a big deal, but the power supply itself, you know, it's it's a very important unit, you know, for the computer. Not only controls the power and all stuff, but it has been overlooked a little bit. It always sits in the side, you know, like a big metal box. Or people try to hide it, put it inside another box, causing a problem with ventilation, causing a problem with overheating. So I think, you know what, let me just give it a little bit of a twist. Let me give it a little bit of a different look, a little bit of a different aspect, and at the same time make it, you know, easy. I went ahead and I, and I made some changes to it. I added, and let me give you a close-up again. I add it right here. Oops, go left, right, this way. There we go. See, I added a voltage regulator right here. Basically, it's just like an LCD screen, you know. And here, every time you turn this on, it will give you here the voltage of how much power. Why is that important? When you add a printer, you start adding lights, you start adding fans, you start adding this, you start adding that. You don't realize, you know, you're using the voltage that's already being supplied by the power supply for regular accessories. You're overusing it, causing your power supply voltage to go low. So you could actually slit this open. There's a little screw on the power supply. We're going to cover that in another segment. And in there, you're going to be able to adjust it. And by looking at that, you'll be able to tell how much you're consuming. If you're overpowering it or underpowering it and keeping it just right. So that would be one plus. And the other plus is, if you look over here, Right in there, this thing right here is not just your, your outlet plug. It's a switch to be able to turn it on and off. And it has built in here a fuse. So if any ha anything happens in your printer, if you have a wire that goes bad, or if you have a stepper that goes bad, or even a wire gets kinked and, you know, and basically it shorts out and it powers out, 
it just blows your fuse instead of having it something horrible going wrong in your printer. And then I added one more extra thing. So see those yellow things right there? I'm gonna go this way. There you go, look at that. These are your famous XT60 plugs. You know, I decided it in a way, you know, that I'm gonna be able to plug it in and plug it out and transport it, make it more affordable, make it easy, make it, you know, in a way that, you know, you have no wires hanging, there's nothing dangling. So I try to make it, you know, easy. So as you can see, this is all of this stuff that I'm showing you right now. You're going to be able to find it in the description and you're going to be able to download it and put it to a good use. You know, if anyone has any questions, feel free to ask. Post it in the comments in the below. You know, um, like I said, you know, a lot of this stuff I designed it myself. Some other stuff I took it from some other guys that they have developed these great parts. But I give it a little bit of my own personal twist. You know, I adapted it for the printer and I made it better. And that would be tip number four. Number five, very simple, right here, perfect. See those corners? Those corners will make your printer more stable. I have it on there, I have it on here, uh, right there, you see that? I have it in the bottom, right there, see it? I even have it in as a cross member in the, in the middle. You're gonna see it right there. Right there, you see that? And here at the end. Those pi those pieces are not there just for looks. They're not there just to make it look pretty and but actually gives it more sturdy. It keeps the printer, you know, more square. As you build the printer, I'm sure you really took the time to measure it and adjust it and tighten it and all stuff. But as you start printing and you get that banging back and forth and the moving and all the stuff, eventually, you know, your printer goes out of whack. And you start getting this wobbly. You start getting these zigzag lines on the printer. And you realize what's going on. Well, this corner, you know, that if we printed it out, it actually made it better. It made it sturdier, lasts longer. You could pick it up and carry. You could even screw it then down in the board. In that way, it becomes like a whole portable unit and you don't have to grab it from the rails and you know and, and throw it out of whack so i would say you know these are so far the five best printed 3d parts that you could find for the tivo tarantula in the market and like i said i made it some small adjustments unfortunately i cannot take full credit for everything that you see here but i did add it you know a couple of my little touches a little twist and all stuff just to make it better if you find this helpful you know give it a thumbs up you know, if you have any comments, you know, just make sure you post the comments on the bottom. I'll reply back to them. If you have any other ideas or anything you want to throw into, you know, and ask me, feel free. I'm new like you guys, but I've been doing this already for a while. I can't understand how this thing works. As you can see here in the back, we have, you know, more printers. You know, we have stuff going on. We have all the materials. We have the filaments. We have the parts. We have the nozzles. I just want to go ahead and give a little bit back to the community. You guys have been great, you know, thank you for your support. And, you know, I hope, you know, that everything works out in your new printer. And if you got any more questions, just let me know. Thank you so much and have a good night.